Hello, this is FMA2, and welcome back to OG2. Today, we are going to be fighting Makaibos, Aguila, or Ajula, and Skylog. And I have everything set up. So, the first person we are going to be taking out is Skylog. And this is the formation you want. You want Lune to be uh, far, as, uh, far away, but in range. So, ten spaces away from... Uh, her. You want Makaiba, you want her, like, both them to be, like, adjacent to each other. So, and right beside the hot, in the high Ryu. And, uh, if you did, if you got the secret, and, uh, if you have the secret, you would have the Graviton cannon. Now, Skylog is the, uh, bulkiest of them all. He has the, easily the highest defense. He has 2,000 defense, and he has an S in space. Uh, he doesn't have any parts, and, uh, something to note is he does have energy regen, so he will be doing a lot. So, uh, let's just take a look at what he has. Uh, he has will plus damage, so the more you damage him, the more, uh, will he'll get. He also has prevailable six. Now, that's really important, because the lower you get his HP down, the more powerfully, powerful he'll be getting. He also has attacker, which makes him a total monster, as well as guard, which reduces all damage by... 20%, so, um, also you want to make sure that you are in range, well, you want to make sure that you're at least 5 range, because then, uh, you'll be get getting hit by the, uh, photon laser. Now, you could possibly get away with the hammer, the hammer's really powerful, and you really don't want to get hit by that thing. So you may be thinking, okay, how do we take out Skylog? Well, Valetta is the key, because her ult, her graviton cannon is 2 to 8 range. So she can do this, and he can't do a darn thing about it. Graviton cannon, full power! Now, Nevium gives us plus 30% defense and, uh, and evasion. So you'll be able to do all the dodging you need. Uh, Lafina is not going to attack. She'll be doing counter-attack for the most part. So, so pretty much for this phase, uh, we'll just, like, during until Skylog is defeated, you want to have Lune dodge, or because she'll use double image, and uh, well, Skylog is going to be going after the High Ryu. Yeah, Skylog is a monster. Dude has massive HP, and because of that, he's really annoying. Yeah, like I think he has close to some. I think he has like over twenty thousand. Or, uh, 20? I think his, yeah, um, yeah. I think he has, yeah, he is close to over 20,000. Or is it 200,000, I'm thinking about? Hmm. Yeah, it'd be 200,000. He has, he has close to over 200,000 HP, which makes him ridiculous to kill. So, uh, you know, after you get the Battle Mastery, start pounding off, you know, just like, do this over and over and over again. And, I'm gonna be honest, he does, you know, for when Prevail kicks in, you're gonna be doing less damage, and you're gonna be doing less damage, and you're gonna be doing less damage, and, I'm gonna be honest, it takes a while. So, um, I think, I'm probably just gonna cut this, honestly. So... I will cut to when Skylog is down and out. Alright, so, Skylog is almost down, guys. Alright, uh, make sure to use uh, Guard. Now, at his lowest setting, Skylog is pretty darn ridiculous. So, um, yeah, he actually has evasion against the battleship, which is... Surprising. Uh, no support. I'll show you how much defense this guy did. Look, I want you to look at this, this guy's defense. Before... Okay. Just for reference, before we started this, we were doing like 5,000 damage a hit. Now that he's at max to power and at lowest possible HP, he's pretty... Look at how much damage it's been reduced to. It's been reduced to 2,600. Yeah, but if you keep Skylog at this range, you know, his photon laser should, shouldn't be that much of a problem. 
I mean, your E field should be easily be enough to defend against that. You know, if you have a guard. Uh, since she does, since I, I already did give her SP regen, uh, she or, well, she can use Bless, which is kind of, which is pretty good, but you want to try saving Lafina's H, or SP for now, because of, uh, well, you'll see. Because of the next, uh, person we're going to be going after. And that's it! We beat Skylog! And look at that epic explosion! Surely he's gone forever. And for beating him, we get the Almighty Armor Breaker, one of the best pieces of weapons in the game. <gasps> and Skylog retreats. Now the second person we want to go after is Aguila, the wife of Skylog. And, uh, whoa, dang, I didn't realize she had, s oh wow, 75 will. I'm assuming that's because we just killed her hubby. Whatever. Alright. So, in order to get her over here, we just need to move Lune... I, th I think I should... Okay, um... Yeah, we'll move Lune in the ship for one turn. And she will rush over here. Like a hawk. Um... We should... Okay, good, we're fine. That spot she's on right now is, uh, not... Does not have any bonuses. It shouldn't have any bonuses. It doesn't have any bonuses. So, let's just deploy Valzione. And, uh... If you would... Like, normally, like, she has no hit. No hit at all. But we have somebody who can hit. Actually, no. I think it's, um... You have focus and strike. Just, uh... You'll see once we get going. But, yeah. Double image. We're pretty much gonna have to attack with our ship here. And I'm pretty sure there are no bonuses here. Yeah, there are no bonuses. Good. So, she's gonna be using her... I think it's her... No, she's gonna be using her photon laser. Good thing that Lavina has strike... And good thing in this game that she can use her uh, Graviton Cannon. It's a really good thing that she can, because if we didn't have this, well, we would be screwed. Um, out of the th four inspectors, Aguila has the highest evasion, but she has the lowest HP. So she's probably going to be the second person you want to take out, since she's the easy second, well, easiest to lower out. Well, actually... She's the easiest to take out, but that's only because of Strike. Actually, the easiest to take out is Makaibos, but for reasons I'll explain later, you don't want to take out Makaibos first. Oh no! Can Lune hit? She probably can't, because she is Lune. She's really bad. I should probably explain my thoughts on Lune in this game. Yeah, she's not that good. Yeah, she's she's really not that good. Yeah, Lude is pretty bad. Uh, we want to keep her in the same spot. Uh, Valletta, I, th yeah, I don't think she has right now. She doesn't. She can't do. She can. Pr she can practically do anything. But uh, Valletta probably will move beside her, be so she has an optional defense support. Um, you might as well do it. Yeah, because something like that may happen. <laughs> yeah, you're going to really be relying on your defense supports here. And hoping Lune gets lucky and, like, does 7,000 damage to somebody. I mean, like, she she still has an attacker. Or no, she has revenge. That's what it was. Well, she has revenge in this game. So, you know, keep that in mind. So next time... Well... Oh, wow! What did, what percent was that? I'm pretty sure it was this. Yeah, when the no holy, okay, I will meet you when we have defeated the si uh, we see a, a, a Guila. Okay, so we are back, and uh, well, Cyberwin is now down on HP. So let's strike up. And Sean, if you would use luck, now, pretty much. You have to pretty much shoot in the dark here. Um, 
Gillian is pretty much going to be your only way of damaging this guy normally. You know, you'd have uh, the higher you attack. Um, Gilliam has has an offensive support, so he'll pretty much use a wimpy little knife. But uh, since she, I already gave her SP regen, she uh, well she has access to strike, which is going to make my life so much easier. Fire the gravity cannon! Go! Wreck the woman! She sucks. I hate her. I hate her. Yeah, she has a lot of evasion. Like, really bad evasion. <gasps> Skylog! We did it! Suck it! That's boss number two out. And, uh... We're beating her, we get a Hyper Jammer! Which is automatic double image for whoever equips it. So, well, it's not automatic, but they get double image. Which is really good. What? What? My Cyberwind is... Uh, th th this is not what I had in mind. How could they be so fast? Alright, now our final opponent is Makaibos. Who is pretty much a mix between uh, Maka well, uh, Skylog and Aguila. He has Predict, so he has good evasion. He is an attacker, so he hits like a truck. Um, he's probably... He's actually probably the easiest to take out. And I'll explain... Oh. No, I don't, I don't want to watch that. Makai Bros! Fix the angle! Blech, fire. No, but Makai Bros is probably the easiest to take out. Because, well... You'll, you'll see. He goes right here. So tell me, what do you think's gonna happen? Eat this! Mega Bossar Beam! Bazooka! I love bazookas. E field! Dang straight, Lafina. You okay? Alright, so we'll deploy uh, the dispense right here. This is where we want it. And you're gonna go there. And you're gonna go here. Just uh, make sure that he doesn't move in the crevice. And we'll end our turn. And yep, we got him where we want him. So we actually want to evade for now. And we'll set things up the way we need to. So, uh, Lune, you're gonna be going... Actually, this terrain not here, no. So you two are gonna be best friends here. Um, you, for the most part, are just gonna be right there. And uh, what Gilliam's gonna do is he's going to strike. Oh boy, is he going to strike. So, you may be thinking, oh, what are you gonna possibly do to make this easy? Well, all you need to do is have Gilliam use strike and then end your turn. The defense, because of the defense support, he'll be able to negate, we'll be able to negate the damage on him. And, uh, well,. That's pretty good. Makes my life so much easier. Oh, and there's also pretty funny, because if Makaibos hits you, even on this god terrain, he will kill you. One hit. No matter what. Like, not the high room, because that thing's a monster of HP, but... Gilliam? No, he'll explode. Ooh, direct hit! Uh, fire, no. Ow. Oh man, hey, I'm Gilliam. Rectangle Launcher. So you're thinking, oh, I'm going to use the Neutron Beam. It's the most efficient thing. No, no, it's not. It, don't, don't say that. It's, it's not. It's not the most efficient. It's the worst. You're moving here. Uh, Valetta's job is pretty much over. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Pretty much have Gilly strike. Have, uh, either Lafina or, uh, Valetta defense support. And you win. Eventually, uh, you'll run out of rectangle shots. So, um, you'll, if you're impatient or just paranoid, you'll just be using your uh, beam saver. Which doesn't drain. Uh, since he is in between, uh, he doesn't, he has the second most HP. So, uh, I'll meet you when uh, we've crippled him to a 
bloody piece of flesh. Alright. And Mikaibos has over 9,000 HP left. So, um, you know, now we're at level 24 with Lufina. Now, do you want, you want Shawler to level 24? Valor. Oh, yes. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh, yes, I love this. Yeah. I like how Sean can learn, uh, Sean can actually learn, uh, SP regen. Oh, my God, so good. Again, this is just for a personal gain, but... Oh, it's so beautiful. Do it. Finish it off, please. Kill Makaibos dead. Yeah, but look at how much damage this is. Let's wrap this up. It's time for me to leave. What? 8 HP? What? I don't think I've ever... What? I got it if I got most 8 HP. Yeah, but look how... Okay, look how hard he hit. Imagine if that was not reduced by 30%. Yeah, that would have been horrible. And Gilm's just gonna pop. Damn, I messed up. And that... is the end... of the Inspectors. And for being him, we get a weapon breaker. We shall move over here. Jeez, all three of us were are beaten. We shouldn't have toyed with them too much. Huh? What? You want me to make a smarter remark? Fine, since you did have the spirit and the stubbornness. I'll say... I'll say, you guys are awesome. How's that, huh? Not enough? Damn it. Then I'll give you this, too. And for beating all three of them, we get a Steel Soul, a Hero's Mark, a Custom CPU, a Shishio Blade, and a G-Impact Stake. Some of the best equipment in the game. <laughs> oh boy. Gellium, go in there. Valletta, hey, eh, you can you can kind of stay on the, on the uh, White Star for now. Yeah, I killed the guy down there with Valletta, so, uh, well, we have to deal with these Bioroids, and then we're done. Make sure that Valletta's uh, powered up, because well, she has gunfight level four. So instead of her, uh, instead of her graviton cannon being uh, two to eight, it is now two to nine. That isn't good at all. Well, actually, it's pretty darn good. Oh, you and your attacks! You know, after fighting the inspectors, you got nothing on the game. You got nothing on me. It's not like there's going to be a stage that's even harder than this one. <laughs> I mean, what are the chances of that happening? I mean, really. What what are the chances of there being a harder stage? You know, a stage that's even more brutal and more luck-based than this one. <laughs> oh god, why? Why? Oh dear. Unfortunately... We s there's a, there's another st there are a couple more stages after this, and the next stage. Oh boy, they really outdid themselves on the next stage. And I'm telling you, it's hard. This is actually pretty doable normally, because well, just because of how uh, you can like set set up your people. Boom, go. Wow, that's pretty good damage. Unfortunately, Lafina's not going to be doing too much. Uh, I am very thankful for Sean having Vigor. I love Vigor. It's some kind of reminds me of Vinegar. Um, you can just, uh, missiles. Yeah, we're almost done here. We just got to kill this last guy, and we're out. Because we really got we got to get that monies and all them experience and PPs. Uh, you have enough for one more. And, uh, obviously, I'm gonna use alert. Yeah, Valetta, she's pretty good. That's the end. And now, we just have to move on to, well, we just need to get out of the fear. Because, apparently, the inspectors are too dangerous. That's why we defeated them at this point in the game. So, send the Valzioni first. 
Uh, we're the only ones left. Mark my words, inspectors. You'll pay for this. I promise you. Even though we killed you. Next, we have Gilliam. Our sacrifices were far too great to trade for the little enemy info. But in time, we will. And on my turn, so Valetta can run. Look at it. I'm at turn 90. Look at that. What a shame. I'll make you pay for this. And Lafina. We arrived at our destination. Maintain speed. Fire chaff to the rear. Retreat from this sector. Roger that, Captain. If we had more power, this never would have happened. I mean, seriously. I'm sorry. We had no choice but to run. Why are you crying? You killed them all. Hey, they're gone. What should we do? Go after them? Hey, he will be will be arriving soon. Let's not. Alright, they weren't too bad af at all. Yeah, no wonder they seized the Nevium. That's right, darling. That's why we came to this planet. Well, let's go welcome Master Wendelo. Alright. Well, at least we won't be bored for now. Give them all like awesome equipment. I've been waiting for you, Master Wendelo. It seems your mission went well, Vigaga. Sir. Sire. They're nothing in the face of our power. Then I'll let you slide this time. I'll let you slide this time for violating your orders. But I won't be as forgiving next time. Thank you, sir. Now, let's hear your report. The teleport device has already been set. I'm currently doing repairs to Nevium. Will it be usable? It, it'll be our stronghold. But the planets have been destroyed beyond repair. The Earthlings aren't that stupid after all, huh? If that's so, Vigaga, let's use the Megalot Customs as our main force for our next mission. Yes, sir. You're right, Skylog. It'll be a tough afterwards. Let's get the plants first. Makaibos, that'll be your job. Roger. Lastly, tell me about the situation on Earth. Civil war is spreading throughout North Africa. Also, our agents tell us that they seem to be some indications of the rebellion inside the government as well. Hmm. Even if they predicted our arrival here, they can't, they can't suppress their own internal conflicts. After all, the Earthlings are uncivilized savages. Yes, we can't let these barbarians run around loose. We need to crush them immediately. We don't have to be so hasty. We should gather our forces before we make our move. Yes, they deserve punishments. Hmm. Oh yeah, Valetta is our AAs. Yeah! So next time on Let's Play OG2, we're going to the moon! <laughs> See how Ardo and uh, the rest of the Mao industry people are doing. I mean, it can't be that bad of a situation. <laughs> oh, anyway, until then, this has been FA2, and I'm signing off. Have a good day, and stay away from the inspectors.